Hi, thanks for joining me. It's Michelle Sturgeon with Come Stamp With Me, coming at you from Ontario, Canada. And today we're going to make um, a kind of vintage inspired card, which is totally out of my box, using some designer series paper called Pressed Flowers and some really interesting washi tape that comes in a bundle of two like this. We're not going to use this one, but we will use this one. And this makes um, flowers. Um, so if you can see there, that's where you start. It's got one full petal and you peel it off from the top and then you use those petals to build your own flower. And it's really cool when it's done. So let's go ahead and stamp it out. All right, so this is the card we're going to be making today. So you're going to be cutting your card base out of crumb cake, five and a half scored out four and a quarter, and you're going to be cutting the first piece of designer series paper uh, five and a quarter long by one and a half. Your second piece will be five and a quarter long by one and a quarter, and your third piece will be five and a quarter long by one and a quarter. And they will fit perfectly on your card. You're also going to need these three dies, one, two, three, these three dies here from the To A Wild Rose die set. And you can use any sentiment you want, but I chose to use So Very Thankful because I have friends that I am so very thankful for that I want to make these cards for. Um, and that is from the For the Love of Felt stamp set. I haven't played with this yet, but I have the kit and I'm anxious to put it together. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to just put my Stamparatus away for one. Actually, no, I'm going to build my flower first. I'm going to show you how I build my flower. So I'll take this out a little bit. Um, find where your full petal is, and we already established the full petal is here. And we peel off the one petal. And I use my Stamparatus um, because I can't find my other thing that I use for stuff to, to do, that I can stick on and take off again. I forget what the name of it. Um, but the Stamparatus, I can stick things on and off fairly easily. So I lay one petal down and then I lay the next petal on top of it. Scattered a little bit. <laughs> this is so cool. And it is and it feels like washi. It's got that texture. Right? Can you see the flower building there? Alright, next flower. And I always take it from the always. I've made one flower. I take it from the top. I find it's easier that way. Put this one. Of there and then I'll have room for one more. I like five. Five is a good number of petals on a flower I think. Is that going to be a little bit too squished? Okay well the only one that makes perfect flowers is God. Ah it, did, it came apart. That didn't happen the first time. There. So now I've got my flower. And it's very sticky on the back. That's not going to be fun to put that on my card, sticky like that. What can we possibly do to make it not sticky? Well, we can take some embossing powder, which I already have clear embossing powder in there. And I'm just going to roll that back side on the clear embossing powder. And then I'm going to heat that. my heat tool. It's, it's fun when things are happening off camera, isn't it? What's she doing? She says she's heating it with her heat tool, but I can't see. I am. I'm heating it with my heat tool, but my, my extension cord doesn't go all that way. So now it's not sticky anymore. Well, it's sticky because the embossing powder is still sticky, but the actual flower is no longer sticky. Now I can get rid of this. So there's a 
second thing I use my Stamparatus for. So that is so cool. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put this card together. So put some adhesive on the first strip. This paper is so lovely. These are actual pressed flowers that they photographed. So it's extremely realistic. And this uh, paper is thinner than our normal uh, designer series paper. And you actually get more. You get 24 sheets in a pack. So lovely. All right. Now I've, I have cut this piece out of this dye from To a Wild Rose. And I want to stamp on that with my So Very Thankful. Just want to make sure that I've got that on straight. Yes. So I it, I don't know if you can see, but it's perfectly straight on my grid paper. When I go to put it on this thing, it's not. It's going to end up not being perfectly straight. I know it. And I want it kind of off to the side. Yeah, it's a little bit crooked. But. And that's going to get glued down flat about three quarters of the way down. Um, then I need a dimensional to pop up my flower. And that's going to go, I just want to wrinkle that up a little bit. That'll go about there, wrinkle it up. Wrinkle it up there. Oh, that's much better. Okay. Now I've used these two dies from To a Wild Rose. I know one of them's not a leaf. It's like supposed to be buds. But when I did it out in the mossy meadow and glued it on, it kind of really did look like a little bit of a leaf. So I thought, ah, I'll keep it. Um, use my liquid glue. And I want this one to be coming out onto the purple here. Give a little bit of contrast onto the purple. And this one will go out this way. Whoa. It got stuck to my hand and came with me there. And then this one will go down. Actually, I'm going to take the stem right off of that one. That'll go down. This way. Why aren't you sticking? Sticking to my hand, but not to the paper. There we go. Put the top back on that. And that was a very quick and easy thank you card for someone special in your life. And a really fun way to use the washi tape. So I hope that you enjoyed you, this video, and we get to see me again. There we go. Hi. Um, so thanks again for watching. Um, as always, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like if you like the video, share the video. Um, if you want to purchase these products or any other products, where's my catalog? Mm, glad to see me up close there this uh, beautiful, beautiful suite. Should have already had this. But I do this on the fly. I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't, I'm not scripted. I know it's hard to believe. Somewhere in this catalog is that I could have used the index. That would have been fast. Index. There we go, the pressed petal suite. So it is on, there we go. What is that page? 72 and 73 of the catalog. So there's the washi tape that we used. And uh, the, you can see the designer series paper better at the top there. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day.